Hello friends, uh, today I am going to discuss about the question number 5.3 of work energy power. So given in fig, uh, figure 5.11, see there are four figures they have given examples of the some potential energy function in the dimension. The total energy of the particle, particle is indicated by the cross on the coordinate axis. So total energy, total energy is indicated by, total energy is indicated by cross, okay total mechanical energy is indicated by cross in each case specify the region if any in which particle cannot be found that it means that it is not possible from graph you can easily find out that the particle cannot exist in this case so indicate the minimum total energy of the particle must have in each case minimum uh, total energy of the particle must have in each case and think of the simple physical context okay now total as we know that total energy total energy or total mechanical energy is consist of a two type of energy a total uh, total mechanical energy is consist of top two type of energy that is potential energy plus kinetic energy so potential energy which is indicated by v not v or v plus kinetic energy is your half m v square since mass is your positive v square is also positive so definitely kinetic energy will be always positive if kinetic energy is positive so definitely we can see from the equation that total energy minus some positive that is kinetic energy will be equal to potential energy or from this equation we can say that total energy will always be greater than or equal to potential energy this is the main important thing you need to understand that total energy should always be greater and or uh, greater than equal to the potential energy potential energy cannot be uh, potential energy cannot be greater than total energy so this thing should be kept in the mind i hope you have understood now now in this context in this context i want to solve some um, some of the problem uh, um, solve the uh, solve the example uh, what they are talking about see here blue color uh, blue color indicates the blue color indicates the energy right see here here you can understand that potential energy potential energy potential energy is greater than total energy in which case a greater than x greater than a so in x greater than a x greater than a what we can write see here potential energy is greater than energy so which is not possible so our answer could be written like this our answer can be written like this that uh, for x greater than a particle does not exist particle does not exist okay now one thing they have also asked us that indicate the minimum total energy of the particle must have in this case so definitely from here we can say that total energy must be equal to at least potential energy okay now i will discuss uh, next uh, next figure next figure i can uh, i will discuss now next figure same context we have to use same context to understand okay now here from uh, here we uh, here we what we uh, we see here what we see here we see that potential energy is greater than total energy this is our total energy and and the given potential energy here so potential energy is greater than total energy so particle will not exist particle particle will not exist for all values of x for all values of x any value you take either a b c d everywhere everywhere total energy uh, uh, potential energy is uh, greater than total energy so therefore particle does not exist in this case particle does not exist in this case i hope you all have understood now now let us uh, uh, let us uh, try to understand next figure uh, it's your next figure now in next figure 
what we see in this figure what do we see here yeah, let us uh, consider so this is your total energy and this is your potential energy so from this to this area um, for x less than a particle does not exist particle does not exist does not exist i hope you have understood now particle will exist see here after that after that see here total energy is less than um, total energy is greater than potential energy so from a to b particle will exist from particle will exist from a to b x x greater than a and less than b it will exist okay now what about the case after b so after b after b if for x greater than b x greater than b particle does not exist particle does not exist why 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 it is it does not exist because here also you can see that total this is your total energy and this is your potential energy so as your potential energy is greater than total energy so particle will not exist in this case so one case number one case number two particle will exist and case number three particle will not exist so in this region we can say that the particle will exist between a and b i hope you all have understood now so to exist potential energy potential energy should must uh, must be less than total energy or total energy must be more than the potential energy now i will discuss about uh, next next case next figure from uh, now in this figure what uh, what we can uh, understand from this figure see try to understand uh, so this blue color graph is your blue color graph is showing you the potential energy with respect to the x now we uh, just i will mark uh, mark total energy so our total energy this is our total energy okay now from here we can see that in this region region potential energy see here this region potential energy is great uh, potential energy p is less than total energy for this region but as this region you cross so this region potential energy is greater than total energy so here particle will not exist here particle won't exist so in this graph we can say that particle does not exist particle does not does not exist okay from here we can see that particle exists so this uh, shaded line you can uh, understand that this area this uh, from this distance to this distance particle will exist again again after this what happens uh, this area see here you can see that this area um, potential energy is more than total energy so particle won't exist as here potential is greater than total energy so particle does not exist particle does not exist does not exist i hope you have understood now see after this what happen after this you can see that this area particle will exist okay understood so here also potential is less than total energy so for it to exist in a particle particle must be exist if potential energy remember potential energy must be less than total energy because i have already taught you the reason i hope you all guys have enjoyed this session this problem how to solve this and context you have uh, understood i thank you i thank you everyone thank you